And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the monastery, the open bar of the internet, the world's greatest shit show, and the place where we, the good brothers and sisters of this most holy of temples, seek enlightenment through the drunkest, craziest, and most batshit ways possible. I am your one and only gaming monk, better known as Mildred, and with me I have a newcomer here to the temple, coming to us straight from Craftando Games. And the and the current developers of the of the African inspired RPG Kalimba, hopefully I got that pronounced right. The one and only Daniel Pirasa, hopefully I got that right too. How you how you doing tonight, man? Uh, hi people, hey there. Um, so today we talk about um game I've been. Creating <laughs> science, uh, twenty. Um, wouldn't be you. It was mentioned five years, so around twenty sixteen. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> just, can I uh, can I try again? Go go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, people of the world. I'm Daniel Pirasa, mm -hmm. uh, or Daniel Pirasa. How <laughs> you can can say that? Uh, mm -hmm. But um, I have 23 years old, and I live in Brazil. And I wrote a, a nice game mm -hmm. called Kalimba, mm -hmm. and it's it's. Uh, it's already published in Brazil, and it's, it's kind of popular here. So mm -hmm. um, we're we're bringing it to Kickstarter, <laughs> so, so we can have a an English language edition, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'd like to I'd like to start I'd like to start a bit into the humble beginnings, in a sense. Um, how did you first get into role-playing games, and what about it made it stick for you? Can you please repeat your your question? Um, <laughs> how how did you first get into role-playing games, and what about it made it stick? Cool. Um, well, I had um. My first experience while I, I was in in high school, yeah, um, uh, a bunch of friends, uh, a group of friends, um, told me that there there was a, a kind of game, a strange game, where I could um, create. And, and 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 play um, crazy ideas. So I I I was interested in you know r r writing uh, about fantasy and this kind of stuff. And I I automatically um, had a lot of of interest in in this game, and I started. Uh, Doing some research about that, and here in Brazil we um, we had few few um, sources, you know, and our language to 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 uh, so, so so we can start uh, so so you can we can learn about RPG and 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 start playing, you know. Uh, we had only um, for free, for free. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the plus to the to the six no, <laughs> from Newton Neutral that was a, a free system, uh, and I started using this this system, um, and I <laughs> I uh, my first game was where where. DMing for my friends, so I, I, 
I, uh, you can say that I, 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 I forced them to, <laughs> to play with me, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I liked it so much that I, <laughs> that that it it um, became my, my favorite hobby, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, since I'm autistic, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm really. Um, uh, I'm really. Uh, I forgot <laughs> the word. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, a second. Font? I know. And, and enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was. I was. Just, uh, I, I am an. an uh, RPG enthusiast, mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Now, Kalimba is very. It, you're going with. You're going for two things: one, a action adventure epic, and two, being um, being very African inspired. Which, even even with the flux, even with the influx of ga of games all over the world these days, that's not an avenue that I, that I see a lot of people tackle. Um, what, what in particular about Af about African about African culture drew you, and um, what and what sparked the idea of cr of creating a game inspired by that? Well, uh, let me let me talk about uh, the context. Mm -hmm. you, you know, here here in Brazil, we have a lot of black people. I am black, and you think uh, that in USA you had a lot of, you know, uh, racism and slavery, but here in Brazil it's a all uh, different level, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we st we are still trying to to get our rights respected, and and. We have no no representation, you know, here, mm -hmm. and um, half of half of the 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 country is is black. So mm -hmm. it's <laughs> it's an absurd. We don't have uh, don't have any representation. So um, recently, we 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 started to talk about that. Uh, discuss that, discuss that um, more openly, you know. And um, I was in high school when I when I um, started to think about black representativity, and um, I discovered Africa, you know, uh, African culture. My first contact with, with um, African culture. Quick culture, <laughs> and um, I just talk it. Uh, well, it's it's just awesome, you, you know. It's uh, so amazing. So many things to 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 learn, to explore. So many monsters. So many uh, myths I didn't know, and I I was in love mm -hmm. <laughs> with Africa, so. Uh, and I, I, I just had um, uh, my, my my first contact with TT RPGs too, and I mixed <laughs> mixed uh, the uh, this these two two ideas, and I <laughs> I just started. Creating a kalimba mm -hmm. because I I when I when I think in Africa I think about home you know I I, I feel like home and it's uh, African culture is it's present in in, um, in daily daily activities here in Brazil it's uh, it's 
popular, but you it's it, it's a strange thing that we 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 can't talk openly about that. But uh, we we have we have a lot of black culture in our in our day, you know. Um, but it's n uh, it's n it's not um, very well accepted mm -hmm. uh, that we we talk that we talk about that uh, this way, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a, a game like Kalimba uh, could do some difference in this fight with fight we still have here in Brazil mm -hmm. uh, against mm -hmm. racism and and uh, many other kinds of bigotry, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it, um, so I I I made a lot of research about Africa mm -hmm. and I talked about um, people here in Brazil who who um, has um, Africans African inspired African based um, religions we have mm -hmm. many African based religions here in Brazil it's uh, it's a taboo but it's it's popular it's a crazy crazy thing but um, uh, so so I, I I could make something something based on Africa mm -hmm. but n um, obviously um, more a a a a fantasy you know mm -hmm. yeah now one of the one of the one of the big hurdles that 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 I've t I've talked with others about in in regards to in regards to trying to do um, a a African themed setting is the fact that well Africa is a very very large place it's a friggin continent yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. and that and that means a whole lot of angles to to really tackle um, I mentioned this to you before we went live but one but one but the last instance I saw on tabletop um, Bastion is more is cer certainly has African leanings, but it leans more towards West Africa than anything else. Is there a particular region that you kind of used as a starting po a starting point stylistically to to um to na to narrow thing to narrow things down, or did or um was that not was that not a thing early on? Oh, well, I based Kalimba Kalimba's mythology um uh mainly in in yoruba yoruba culture no mm -hmm. uh, from nigeria uh, benin and uh, <laughs> other uh countries mm -hmm. um n near that 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 too you know uh but um I also used uh, a lot of different cultures. I I had a, 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 a Pan Africanist uh, worldview, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I mixed um, mixed uh, a lot of a lot of cultures, and um, so I. So, uh, I I mixed it, but I I tried to make to create some harmony, you know, between them, mm -hmm. and it's it's uh, the 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 re result is <laughs> is is great. I I think um, I learned uh, I, I learned about um, those cultures cultures mm -hmm. and. Um. So so many, so so many, um. So many stories that has never been told, mm -hmm. um, and I think there in in USA you um 
you may be don't don't have um so um wait a second <laughs> It's not it's not so familiar to to you, you know. But uh, those African based religions you have here, mm -hmm. um, it's mainly based on in uh, African uh, um, uh, in Yor Yoruba Yoruba culture. So um, it's something very very familiar f for Brazilian people. So I chose that. Uh, that culture, y Yerba culture is also <laughs> is also uh, very diverse. You know, it's um, it's a, uh, uh, so, so, so some some people have um, quite different w uh, word views, but uh, I I try to um, to take the the gods, um, the 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 way they they practice their faith, mm -hmm. and um, um, m mystical creatures too. Like they have a lot of <laughs> mystical creatures, and mm -hmm. um, so that's the the base for Kalimba. Mm -hmm. Now. When it comes when it comes to doing fantasy, um, fantasy is something that has many 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 <laughs> subtypes, and not all not all of them are created equal. You have of course you have of course high, you have low fantasy, you have dark, you have um, sword and sorcery, and you have epic, which is which has far more in common with with the with the myths and legends of get of of any given culture more more than anything else. What style of fantasy are you aiming Kalimba to be to be akin to? Well, um, it's uh, it's a a high fantasy uh, setting. Uh, we we call that um, epic. Fantasy, maybe uh, we um, we work with uh, low technology, mm -hmm. but um, the setting has uh, also uh, a, a best uh, where where um, people had uh, high technology, so the world was uh, world was destroyed you know and this technology were lost and um, we now have magic we have um, uh, have a lot of creatures different creatures um, some of them very dangerous or uh, uh, have also intelligent uh, races you know Ra uh, I, I know race uh, maybe it's not uh, don't uh, wor <laughs> don't worry about don't worry about that there's no I don't do I don't cure I don't curate people's um, language or, ter or terminology here the everything's everything's on the table here in the monastery okay uh, since my my native language is not English I don't know how to to say that with the the right uh, that is no you you got it you got it right per, you got it right perfectly fine <laughs> <laughs> um but we we had these races and um so uh, uh in kalimba setting the knowledge and the magic is is uh, maintained by the power the power of, of of the word, mm -hmm. the word, you know, um, the 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 griots, uh, they, they they are um, storytellers who maintain this the stories and and all the knowledge that 
um, people achieved, achieved, don't say, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> how, how do I say that? Uh, mm -hmm. Achieved. Achieved. <laughs> <laughs> achieved. <laughs> Uh, the the stories and the knowledge the people achieved um, uh, through through the centuries, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you, you can no, only use magic. You can only use magic uh, by by using your your words. Mm -hmm. uh, words and um, is is um, is magic. So, uh, I'm I'm with that. I'm doing a r reference to the oral traditions mm -hmm. of Africa. Africa. So um, <laughs> that's the kind of of setting I'm um, talking about. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we have magic. We have. Uh, low technology but uh, you can f still find um, you can high tech <laughs> high tech stuff if you explore uh, the right ruins mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, using that is a is a taboo mm -hmm. and um, you can you you must survive um, in this world of of um natural and and supernatural dangers yeah. mm -hmm. now with the, with that in with that in mind um as now as i as i understand it you're go you're going with a you're going with a flat two a flat two d six um appro approach when it com when it comes to the core rules is it a case where where there's two, where it's two d six, but there's but there's other there's other die setups, or is it a case of all roads lead to Ro Rome? No matter what you're doing, you're gonna be ro you're gonna be rolling just two six siders. Oh, you will use uh, two d six mm -hmm. um, for almost everything, but you also have also have an advantage, so you can add a. Uh, uh, a die um, to this to this row, but um, you just need a a, a bunch of uh, a handful of of uh, d6 dice. Mm -hmm. you know, um, and it, it's it's quite easy. You 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 add um, to the six plus um, your attribute, mm -hmm. your attribute, and your skill. Mm -hmm. So you can do, you can perform that action. Mm -hmm. um, so it's <laughs> it's a, a, a quite simple concept. You use that use that um, also in, during combat. Uh, it's not it's not hard at all. Mm -hmm. Do you have? So are there in, are there any effects if if say if say you roll if say you roll some sort of doubles or roll box cars or snake eyes? Uh, I think I don't understand. No. Uh, <laughs> some some t some two D six games will have will have extra effects if say. If say you roll, if say you roll a set, roll a set, i.e., ma i.e. matching dice, or ro or roll two, or roll two sixes, or roll t or roll two ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have also uh, critical success and critical failure if you if you roll um, two two six, oh, or two ones. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, okay, it, it, it's it's very familiar for <laughs> for most of uh, players. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when it comes to the when it comes to the attributes, there are um, there are two there are two at most of the attributes that that you distrib that you distribute um, your starting points in are I'd say going to be familiar, but there are two that I th that I think might warrant a bit further explanation. Those being um, Ginga and Ori. Oh yeah. Um. Um. Just. Oh. Uh. Uh. Here in Brazil, we call uh the. the Ginga, uh, Ginga, <laughs> Ginga. Uh, it's uh, your your physic physical uh, beauty, your attractiveness. Uh, no, <laughs> your your charisma. Charisma, yeah, it's your charisma. Mm -hmm. um, um, you re remember that um, word. The word here uh, is, is power, you know, in Kalimba word is, is power. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a very important uh, attribute and for, for conjuring uh, mantingas, mm -hmm. uh, the spells, <laughs> you know. Um, and Ori is, um, is your, your wisdom, your willpower but not only that it's um, your connection with the supernatural forces mm -hmm. and your your perception you know uh, for um, for natural and supernatural uh, things um, so it's um, it's Ori in in Yoruba means um, head Head, so uh, it's your it, it's your it's a, the 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 power of your mind, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> now, I now when it comes to when it comes when it comes to spe when it comes to special abilities, um. What would the, what would what would that what would that particular particularly entail? Would would it be a case where you where you put one point in order to get a certain ability, or do or do um, abilities scale um, based on how many points are put into them? Well, you know, you, you will you will um, buy buy the those abilities um, and some of them. Has uh, have a a, a second or, or or third level, so you can you can buy that too, you know. Um, so not not every uh, special ability is uh, uh, can can evolve, you know. Uh, but you, the, the special abilities, in my opinion, it's, uh, is what makes make, makes your your character um, <laughs> special, mm -hmm. <laughs> unique. You, know? um, um, you you can you can do um, many many different things, many different. Uh, Different kinds of of characters. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Kalimba, you don't need to to fight monsters to evolve. So you can um, create a, a character who has only um, social skills, and um, um, but you also can 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 mix. Um, um, a, a fighter with a, a, 
a sorcerer and you can do <laughs> whatever you want because we have no classes mm -hmm. you know you um you you learn how to to cast mandingas uh, uh through uh, special abilities so mm -hmm. it's a very important part of of the game mm -hmm. and now one one of the other one of the other thing one of the other things I was curious about is the tier system that you have between um, the five levels of kid, brave, veteran, hero, and legend. Um, what I'm what I'm curious about is is it a case where you where um where you're le where th where these particular t where this particular leveling system is it a is it a case of XP threshold or are you are you spending XP as a as a kind of advancement cur currency, a la say Shadowrun or World of Darkness? Mm, no, you you only use your XP to level up. Yeah, um, but when you 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 you, um, you level level up, you receive um, points to spend mm -hmm. and your attributes, your your special special abilities, your skills, and um, uh, I I'll give you a, 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 a example that will make easier to understand how it works. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like if you if you divide. Um, Think think about D and D levels twenty mm -hmm. twenty D and D levels and um, uh, from one to to five you are a kid you know mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's like that and when you reach uh, the the brave level you um, you now have access um, to to um, more special abilities um, and you can now become stronger you can you, you are um, you are famous enough enough to to um, to 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 to, to uh, to become a, a, a character that is uh, that has a, a uh, a, a greater importance um, in the scenario in the setting so uh, you you evolve you level up when you become more and more famous uh, because people were talking about you 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 are famous. People are using their words to talk about you, and you are getting more powerful. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, it it's it's kind of <laughs> simple, but uh, it, it's um, a little different than um, which people are used to, but. Uh, when you see the the little table, we have to explain that how how this uh, level system works. Uh, you just look uh, look at look at that and and say, oh, okay, <laughs> uh, it's 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 easy. It's it's okay. Yeah. Now. <sighs> Speaking of speaking of that, since um, since it, since you brought up um, mending as as, spe as spells, one partic one particular thing I'm cu I'm curious about is some games have it where have it where you're drawing upon a set resource, whether whether that be spell slots or so, or some sort of me or some sort of um, spell points, and others have it that it that it is a pure a bit is a pure ability check um, when trying to when trying to cast spells how how would the how would the equivalent work with kalimba with um with Mendi with mendingas and mirongas 
you have your Azure. Mm -hmm. uh, so you spend the Azure to cast your Moonjingas, and mm -hmm. that is, that, that, that's it. Um, uh, if you have no no Azure, you can't cast, and um, um, you, you have to to uh, administrate um, your your resources very well. You can't uh, cast a, a Menjinga for ever, everything, but you can uh, you can cast. Um, uh, a, 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 a Mendinga uh, many times mm -hmm. since, since you you have uh, the the needed amount of of fashion. Mm -hmm. um, now, with the, with that in with that in mind, um, when it, given the fact that this is that this is meant to be a action adventure RPG. Um, would it be fair of me to say that when it comes to combat, you're aiming more for theater of the mind than anything grid-based? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we don't have um, we don't 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 use uh, the the grid. No, the uh, it's how it's how you. I should say that <laughs> um, the combat grid, no. Um, and uh, we we uh, have a lot of, of mechanics that's similar to uh, the most popular RPGs. Uh, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. D and D, we have uh, some some mechanics. That looks, looks like D and D, but mm -hmm. we are not so interested in in um, in make the rules um, uh, run the, the entire game, run mm -hmm. the, the the combat. Uh, you are more uh, free to to do. Crazy things that that's uh, that 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 mechanics um, don't uh, um, don't account for. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, so uh, I think <laughs> I think that. Yeah, I, I can I can certainly get that. I can certainly get that. Now, when it come now, um, this might be this might be something that this might be something that's fairly obvious in in um in hindsight. Um, but within the book, are you planning on having a bit of a pronunciation guide for a lot of the terms that you're introducing? Yeah, but uh, we're trying to translate. Um, um, in a way, you can you can um, pronounce the the words uh, without um, uh, without having to think uh, so much about that. So uh, um, you don't need to to be worry about how you you are. Um, how you are speaking so uh, uh, a certain certain word because it's um, uh, we are we are adapting it to to English English language because mm -hmm. uh, 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 for example uh, Asia you, you can um, you can read the word how how it it is mm -hmm. uh, right. Uh, but here in Brazil, would call it axé, mm -hmm. because every word in Yoruba is um, ha has the the the, the strongest uh, strongest um, 
syllable, syllable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 the stronger, strongest syllable, um, and uh, at the the end of the the, the word, you know. Uh, so it's uh, ashe, mm -hmm. ori, uh, and I don't I, I, I don't I don't think it's it's um, so important that you you pronounce uh, these words uh, how it, it how they are originally you know because um, it, it's <laughs> it, it, uh, they're not um, they, maybe we here in Brazil are are not uh, are not pronouncing <laughs> that that right you know because it's we it, it have to adapt to the to the public and uh, mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah we <laughs> we will have a um, uh, a page to explain the the basic uh, pronunciation mm -hmm. but uh, you don't need to, to to worry about that, no. Yeah. Uh, it's not that that important to the game and to the 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 setting. Mm -hmm. Your experience. Oh yeah. Now, when it comes to special abilities, obviously one form of special ability is 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 going to be in the form of spells. But what would be some other avenues that special abilities can manifest in? Oh, um, well. Uh, in our quick, quick start, we uh, don't have mm, that. Uh, we have only a, a few special abilities, mm -hmm. but um, we uh, it's uh, uh, we didn't put uh, the the Orisha gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really, really fun uh, mechanic. Uh, in the the game, mm -hmm. uh, the, there are special abilities you can you can buy, but uh, they are associated uh, to to uh, gods to to the Orishas, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so you can, uh, for example, become a, a, a a fighter who explodes your enemies with your bare hands, you know. Uh, there, uh, if if you were a devotee to to a Orisha, of, a, of an Orisha, mm -hmm. um, you 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 can uh, you can buy uh, specific uh, special abilities that will make your your character even more uh, special even when, um, so it's a it's a it's something that I, I like a lot but uh, the 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 standard uh, special abilities they are also they also gives you um, uh, many many ways to to uh, make your to, to create your character to evolve mm -hmm. um, you can um, you can uh, think that you can you can build um, any any class you you choose mm -hmm. you know from from any RP, RPG you you can think about um, uh, and you can you can mix that you can make it uh, uh, can can make it work together the, the, the this different abilities and uh, you can use uh, a, a, a heavy heavy armor and be a, a, a spellcaster you know mm -hmm. uh, there are Enemy possibilities. Yeah. Now, with the, with that in mind, I, I I would like to go. I would like to go into um 
go in, go into some go into some of the some of the equipment possibilities because there's when it comes to martial characters, for instance, in a lot of fantasy games, there's the temptation to go purely so, purely sword and board, a so, a sword and a, sh a sword and a shield. Um, but for some for somebody who wanted to embody that that per, that kind of fighter archetype, what sort of what sort of weapons and abilities would you recommend to them? Um. Well, uh, through your uh, your special special abilities, you can um, get uh, specialized in um, some kinds of combat. You can use um, two-handed weapons. You can use uh, uh, many many kinds of of armor and shields. Uh, I I I think I. I I like the the idea of a, of a classic of a classic African fighter. When you when you think about a, a, an African warrior, you you think about a, a someone with um, with um, uh, just a few clothes and and. Um, uh, and uh, 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 a spear uh, in one hand, and uh, 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 a large shield uh, made of of leather, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, in the other hand, and uh, it's it's great. But you can also use um, many many crazy weapons uh, that really exist in Africa. Mm -hmm. You can you can uh, make a, a research, and you will see with your own eyes that the the the, the African peoples they are they are they have a, a lot of creativity <laughs> to make weapons. Uh, some of them uh, uh, don't even uh, don't even uh, seem. Um, looks looks useful, you know, <laughs> really useful. But but they are they are very cute, and we have uh, illustrations mm -hmm. to show that concept uh, to to the readers, mm -hmm. to the players. Um, I, I think that the idea of uh, of a uh, uh, a fighter with um, <laughs> bare hands is a, a crazy idea. It's a, it, it's it's too too good because uh, in Africa you uh, we also have uh, martial uh, martial arts. You mm -hmm. know martial. Um, so so um, uh, you you can fight with no weapons, and that's <laughs> that's uh, that's too cool. And I can. Ignore that because um, uh, African ma martial arts uh, they are almost like dances. So mm -hmm. you can dance and and uh, spank your your enemies at the same time, mm -hmm. and it's great. <laughs> yeah, and truth truth be told, if so, if I wa I wasn't even I wasn't even considering going going with a sp a spear and shield setup. I was thinking of going with um. The with with some with something more along the lines of the um, war axe that that um that was seen that was seen in Zulu. Yeah, yeah. The the Zulu warrior is a, a classic. Mm -hmm. you know? um, but uh, you know there are um, different kinds of uh, armor and. In Africa, uh, they're quite different. Um, uh, those the uh, that the 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 warriors, the soldiers used in Europe, Europe, mm -hmm. um, because Africa is hot as hell. But um, in combat, the the 
noblemen, the, the, the most important people, uh, mm -hmm. they also uh, they uh, also protect themselves themselves and uh, in combat, you know, mm -hmm. with armor, with, with shields. Um, there are shields made of of um, of metal, uh, only of uh, a metal. So, so it's a really heavy shield. It's mm -hmm. it's real. That there are pictures of of that, and uh, pe people should explore. Should um, should use more African based equipment um, on their games because it's 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 cool. It's um, it was one of the most uh, fun parts of of my research, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 find find these uh, these these weapons, this, this this different kind of uh, different kinds of uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's great for any any RPG. You can you can. <laughs> yeah. And I've um I've advocated I've advocated for years to for pe for people to um to put to put a degree of variety in ha in how they equip themselves. Like if you're if you're um. It's a it's a weird it's a weird paradox where if I'm, if someone's running a science fiction style game they'll be far more willing to diversify the um, the weapon the weaponry that they go with whereas if whereas if somebody's go, if somebody's um, playing a fantasy game they only think about one handed a one handed bladed weapon bladed or blunt weapon a two handed bladed or blunt weapon a bow you know st standard stock things without Considering the ver the um, variety of subtypes just within a one ha a one-handed bladed weapon, for instance, it's a we it's a weird paradox. I I, I really don't understand that because uh, the options are so great. I love hammers, hammers, and and um, <laughs> I love I I, I I don't I don't like swords. Oh. That much, and <laughs> I don't like swords that that much. Then, then honest, honest. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I, I think that since uh, Kalimba has a, a lot of of uh, crazy concepts of of equipment, mm -hmm. of weapons, especially um, people, people will use. Uh, I hope that they will use. <laughs> the, the, will at least um, make a make a try. You know? um, and some some weapons has a has has um, unique attributes, unique characteristics, and uh, you can can get some advantage in combat. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to when it comes now when it comes to the the um cre the creatures with the creatures within it um I know I'm I'm fair I'm fairly certain that there that there's going to be a bestiary of of course but um is it is it a case where is some games will have bestiaries will where they'll put a recommended tier or or level or or the like um in order to not in order to set a baseline for what might be too strong of an encounter do you have something similar to that or is it a, or is it a case where ev where everything's on the table um potentially uh, can you can can you make your question again um so what I'm curious, what I'm curious about is, is if you have a, is given the level and tier setup, when it comes to, cre when it comes to creatures in the, um, be in the bestiary for the book, do you have, do you have recommended tiers for individual creatures? Yes, yes, 
but they're not so precise. Yeah. Um, we we do have a recommendation level, mm -hmm. uh, but since each level is is divided in in four mm -hmm. tiers, um, uh, it's it, it, it's not that exact. No, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 balancing of of these combats, and I I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. Uh, because I, I I was used to to, to play uh, dungeon crawl classics, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think the danger uh, must be be real. Because uh, combat should be um, should be uh, unpredictable. <laughs> should be. Un Combat should be unpredictable. Uh, you, uh, the, the 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 players, mm -hmm. should uh, have more, should use more strategy, to, to achieve the the victory. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you in 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 the best bestiary, we have a. a more than 70 creatures uh, and uh, uh, most of them are based on uh, on on uh, creatures from African folklore mm -hmm. uh, and I had to adapt to adapt these these creatures because um, because my mythology is it, sometimes it's not uh, so playable, you know. Um, so uh, uh, I I ad ad adapted um, some of the skills of the those monsters, and um, uh, uh, the the concept of mm -hmm. uh, some of of them and uh, I think the, the the result is is good <laughs> it's good enough yeah. now when it comes when it comes to given given the given the kind of set given the kind of setting that is that is very that is very much that is very much present here there's a cup there's a couple a couple styles of adventure I'm curious if if uh, this kind of game could accommodate, and one of the big ones is hex crawls. Since you've brought up dungeon crawl classics, um, would I think would it be fair of me to say you're familiar on some form of what a hex crawl is? Yeah, yeah, N know that, but but I'm not uh, um, uh, not a, a a huge fan of of. Uh, uh, the, the the modern style of of hex crawl, you know, a um, lot of c combat. When uh, when you you say hex crawl, I, I think about combat, but it's not exactly my favorite par part of of playing RPG. Uh, I like I like. Uh, um, I like to 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 find another uh, solution mm -hmm. to, to the problems, to the the conflicts. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you, you can you can focus on combat in combat uh, while playing Kalimba, uh, but you don't need to. You don't need to. You can be a pacifist. You can uh, be a, a diplomat. Um, can do whatever you want. But yeah, uh, I say that you uh, you can play anything with Kalimba. But obviously, uh, there there are some kinds of so, some game styles that are more. Um, that, that that fits better 
better at uh, this game. Uh, and I think you you should balance uh, the the social interaction uh, and the combat because um, since the the world and the fame is uh, very important and the setting and for the mechanics, uh, you should also um, should also have. Uh, so social challenges, you know. So, so uh, to 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 have a, a full experience of playing Kalimba. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you shooting for as far as a total page count? I know I know that these kind of things can be in can be in flux, especially especially when jumping from one language to another. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <coughs> uh, about three, uh, three hundred and thirty pages, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, a few more, but uh, about that that number. Mm -hmm. All right, and. <laughs> What would you be shooting for as far as a release win uh, release window? Are you thinking, er are you thinking early twenty twenty two? Yeah, yeah, we uh, already have uh, the the Portuguese version mm -hmm. uh, edition here in Brazil, and we just had to to translate, and it's not that that um, that hard. You know, it, it's hard. Okay, it's hard. Uh, that's that's not the, the right word, uh, but it doesn't take so much time because uh, we have a more than a, a translator. A translator. So we we want to to um, to 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 count on the the help uh, of um, more than 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 one professional uh, to to translate and for the the proof uh, uh, proof reading you know mm -hmm. um, but yeah I, I think we can do that uh, early early 20 uh, 2022 mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's 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 not that complicated to 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 because we will focus on uh, uh, translation. We don't have to um, to care about uh, illustration anymore. You know, um, it's uh, illustration is uh, a, a a part that that takes a lot of time. A lot of time. It's uh, because we have. More than than a hundred uh, illustrations and the the core whole book, whole book, whole book, mm -hmm. <laughs> book, and uh, and we have more than one one book, uh, the adventures book uh, the, uh, is is also full of illustrations, uh, the the source book. Mm -hmm. And it, the 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 hardest the hardest uh, part uh, is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, we we can we we can do that uh, everything uh, calmly and uh, in time. Mm -hmm. And I I will be looking forward to to seeing the, to seeing the result and having it um. Having having it having it in the halls of my temple, but with all of that said, I would like to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to come up, to come onto the show and enjoy the bit the bits of fun that can ha that happen around here. Oh, uh, uh, thank you for for um, 
for <laughs> inviting me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's my first time uh, speaking English language with an, a native speaker, and I'm really nervous. And I, <laughs> I my my social social skills is not uh, that good. I <laughs> as I, I say, uh, I'm autistic, mm -hmm. so I don't. I don't even practice uh, that much my my own language. Um, uh, I think um, I, th I I hope I could um, present my my uh, properly mm -hmm. because you no know, here in, here in Brazil, Kalimba is the uh, second most pop popular TTRPG uh, made by a. Uh, uh, Brazilian guy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I'm I'm not I'm not counting with um, uh, international blockbusters like D and D. It's obviously more popular. But uh, Kalimba um, uh, started very well. It's doing very well, and uh, we have a lot of fans here in Brazil. Um, we we are um, uh, m mentioned uh, uh, on 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 TV. You know, we we are everywhere here, and I'm really proud of what we are doing for uh, black representation, mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing that while uh, making people have fun. And it's mm -hmm. it's it's just amazing, um, and that's it. I I I hope we can uh, fund uh, the Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. and and translate Kalimba to English language because uh, I, I I want more people can can play my game and can uh, feel um, uh, uh, a, a little step closer, a small step closer to Africa. Mm -hmm. you no, know? um, representation, uh, representation is something very important for for black people here in Brazil, and I think that in uh, USA and the rest of the world, it's the same. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a, a a great thing. Yeah. Um Anytime you see fit to return, whether it's to further discuss to discuss discuss Kalimba, um, your your exper your experiences studying studying Africa, or ju or just bringing just bringing that st that sound to more games, or or even t even to discuss the metal scene in Botswana that has been, that's been a rabbit hole for me for me in the last few years. Um, the door is always open, as I often say around here. Drinking is not mandatory. But it is encouraged, <laughs> uh, and of course, a sincere thanks goes out to everyone who took the time out of their schedule to come onto the show and enjoy the madness. And there will be plenty more where that came from, as there always is here on the open bar of the internet. But until then, on behalf of the good brothers, present and not present, my name is Mildra. I am your gaming monk. Stay. Fucking frosty, everybody! <laughs> <laughs>